I'm making a meatloaf today and I have a half a pound of um, pork here as well as a half a pound of uh, well actually almost a pound of hamburger meat so I'm gonna add that to my bowl but I have also a half a cup of onion that is two small onions they're very small if you use medium you'll be perfect one cup of panko this is the panko I have in the dish a fourth teaspoon of pepper uh, a uh, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, um, actually right there is a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and a fourth teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, two eggs, it only requires one large, but my eggs right there are kind of small, so I have two eggs. So I would only use one if it's large and also one tablespoon of parsley flakes. So let me show you how we put this together. Into the bowl, we are gonna add the hamburger meat. And I'm also gonna make a soft sauce for this. We're going to add our onion, our meat, our seasonings, and that's the garbage bowl. I'm going to get rid of that at the compost. I'm not. I'm using one hand so I don't cross contaminate. You can add some broth to this. I would suggest beef broth, and I would just do a fourth of a cup. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to mix this in with my two eggs. So let me get this mixed and I'll bring you back. So we got a baking dish, but I did not get my loaf pan. So I'm just going to take this and form this in here. You want your oven at 350 and then I'll bring you back. So here we've got it in shape of a loaf. It's going to go into the oven at 350. And into the oven it goes. It will bake for 55 minutes. So there, it's in the oven. We're gonna put on the timer, 55 minutes. And I'm gonna make the sauce. And I'm gonna get the stuff out right now and then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do the sauce. So this is gonna cook for 55 minutes or unless you look at it and it looks done, my pan is different, yours might be different, so just keep checking it until it's done. So we're making the sauce. I put in the pan one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Now I've got a fourth of a cup of ketchup, which I will get the rest of this off camera. This is just for your top. I usually wait until it's almost done and then I put the topping on. So there's two tablespoons of brown sugar. That is homemade, I make my own. I will link it below. And we are going to turn the heat on and we are going to cook this until it's all combined. Which doesn't take long. You're just basically softening up the sugar and marrying these ingredients. So let's just, I'll let you go and I'll bring you back when this is about ready to be taken off. You can taste your sauce too, and if you like it sweeter, you can add more sugar. If you like it a little towards the um, not so sweet side, you can add more red wine vinegar. This is really good sauce. Sometimes I use balsamic vinegar, but this one here is a different one that I'm making. So I'm just gonna say that this is done because it's already heated up and it's already mixed. So I'm just gonna take it off the burner and when my meatloaf is almost done, like 10 to 15 minutes prior to me taking it out of the oven, I'm going to put the sauce on and then I'll bring you back. Okay, our meatloaf has got about 24 minutes. I'm just going to keep spooning it on top, just like so. Cover it and finish it off for another 24 minutes. And I'm serving it with potatoes and a vegetable.
so our meatloaf is all done and that's how it looks and I just wanted to thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe and tell me how you like your meatloaf and we'll talk to you later bye